Welcome back. It is Wednesday. Alongside is Tom Wheelahan, former kicker for the Missouri Tigers. Tom, welcome back. Hey, it's a great day to be out. 72 degrees, watching a beautiful softball game. Absolutely great. I can't think of many things better on campus to do than to be out in the spring watching Missouri Tigers softball. Oh, it's great out here. The field's beautiful. The girls can hit. They can play. And I love coaching Coach Early Wine, watching him do his little sideshow at third base. That's fun to watch. <laughs> you know, Coach, he is closing in on 500 career wins here at Missouri. This is a successful program. He just got here yesterday, didn't he? I mean, <laughs> seems from like it. <laughs> well, grew up in Jeff City, so I knew him back in the day back at JC. The shirt, Tom, got to like that. You are? I'm super and you're kind of a man. <laughs> so Superman, get the pun? No pun intended? <laughs> we're together. How about it? <laughs> Whether I like it or not, we're always together. Sorry. <laughs> big Masters week. You're a big golf fan, are you? We're not too far from A.L. Gustin Golf Course across the street. I'm more of the personal side of the stories. Craig Sadler's playing in the tournament for his 38th time, and his son's also playing in the right. tournament. So I love those kind of stories. And they had a uh, press conference the other day, and he's like, Dad, you put some weight on. Well, they're both 5'10", 250 pounds. <laughs> So the Walrus and the Walrus Jr., I guess. <laughs> but how fun would it be to play the Masters with your dad? That would be incredible. That'd be fun. Kind of like when I play you in putt-putt and I beat you. You could hold my clubs. You couldn't beat me in putt-putt. You can't beat me with anything with a We're golf playing. club. We're playing this summer. We're going to tape it. I'm going to be riding golf. I don't think that's going to happen. First, we'll have the softball competition where I will win the home run derby, hands down. Hands down what? <laughs> Easily. You wish. You're All right. an athlete. Seriously, uh, a sports figure has passed on in the pro wrestling world. The Ultimate Warrior, back when WWE was nothing, back I think it was 83, 84, he wrestled Hulk Hogan, and I believe it was in the Superdome or the first big venue. He passed away the other day, but that's the guy who really started the whole wrestling craze. And he, uh, that's unfortunate to see him leave, but he did start it all, huh? Him and Hulk Hogan with the old George Costanza, ball on top, mud flap in the back. And that stuff is all real, right? Pro wrestling? It's all real. Okay. There's nothing wrong with wrestling. It's all real. <laughs> Not fake at all? I'm going to wrestle you in a minute if you don't <laughs> no. keep going. Now, that one you might happen to beat me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Tell us about uh, NCAA Championship Week. UConn wins on the men's side. UConn wins on the women's side. Second time. It happened back in 2004 also. You know what's amazing? Over the last 16 years, the UConn men's team has won the tournament four times. And no one ever talks to them of a team of a decade or destiny. This is the second time, folks, the second time both the men and the women have won on the same weekend. And they don't get much respect either. But the best thing I like is... Coach McGrath from McGraw from Notre Dame, her and Coach Ariyama, they hate each other. They said, can we, can we get by this, this, this little bickering? She goes, there's no more civility. They hate each other. And I loved it when UConn stabbed them by 20 points. That was awesome. That is pretty good for the women's game. Carl Edwards from right here in Columbia third place right now. 270, 274 points. He's 12 points behind second and 12 points ahead Joey Logano. And that's another guy. No one ever, the only time I see Carl Edwards when he's doing a TV commercial for a car dealership in town. We got to talk about more about Carl Edwards. Carl's doing almost as well financially as my own friend Tom Wheelahan. Almost. He's almost there. <laughs> but he can't beat me in golf. You can't either, Rod. <laughs> right.